First up this evening, a looming fuel crisis. Tanker drivers are on strike as a bitter dispute between former affiliate unions continues to spiral out of control. The drivers who took industrial action say they have not been able to get rid of the National Workers Union, NWU, which they say is not serving their interests. They want to be represented by the Petroleum Tanker Drivers Association. Which is an affiliate union of the Union of Clerical, Administrative and Supervisory Employees, UKs, which, you guessed it, used to be an affiliate of the NWU. TVJ's Anthony Log has more. Another protest by tanker drivers on Tuesday morning. The tankers parked at the entrance to the state-owned oil refinery, Petrojam, along Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston. The drivers parade in placards to send a clear message, the NWU must go. That NWU is the National Workers' Union, which represents most of the tanker drivers. The drivers at the protest say the NWU has neglected their needs. We haven't had none of our rights amended to. We still have no health insurance, no dental insurance, no vacation pay, no sick leave. All of these things promised to us. We have marketing companies that are threatening the contractors that they will bring new trucks into the country to get rid of us. But in an interview with TVJ News Tuesday afternoon, General Secretary of the NWU Granville Valentine sought to refute those claims indicating that the union presented bargaining claims which takes those very concerns into consideration. Mr. Valentine maintains that if the drivers want to replace the union, the proper route is a bargaining rights poll. That's a runoff between unions for the right to represent workers. You can take the dispute in a collective bargaining situation and go to somebody else. They have no such legitimacy to treat with the matter. So all the persons I hear that is talking, that's their choice, and that's okay. But they have no legitimate voice in representing this category of worker. But it appeared the drivers were partly upset at the Ministry of Labor, which they claim has frustrated efforts to vote out the NWU by means of a bargaining poll. But the NWU president insists that UK simply has not followed proper procedure to get the poll done. UK's was affiliated with the NWU until 2014 when the two unions severed ties in a bitter dispute. Mr. Valentine argues that it's UK's, not the Labour Ministry, which has failed to do what it should, which is to serve a claim on the correct company. If you have not sent in a, a legitimate claim, then in the Ministry of Labour, in their investigation, will indicate to you that the claim is not legitimate. Meanwhile, the president of the Jamaica Gasoline Retailers Association says he's concerned about the impact the strike could have if it continues. Wednesday is a day where Petrojam does not open for business. So a lot of the stations do not expect to get supply on Wednesday. Henceforth, they fill up on a Tuesday. So the strategy for them to, to withdraw their services on a Tuesday will have a major impact upon the supplies of gasoline and, and the trade. Anthony Log, TVJ News.